Welcome back to It's Your Case, presented by VetCT.com. I'm Heather Chalmers, your radiologist on demand for this week. Today's example is a one-year-old French bulldog recently hit by a car. You notice during your physical examination that there's pain of the right hind limb. Once the patient is stabilized and analgesia has been provided, you safely perform two views of the right femur area. Here I'm showing you the craniocaudal view. And here's the lateral view. Let's start by composing our fracture sentence. I like to describe the location, the fracture type, the displacement, and the soft tissues. For this fracture, I would say, in the mid-diaphysis of the right femur, there is a comminuted fracture with a large butterfly fragment, which is this piece here. Moderate caudolateral displacement, I conclude caudal, based on this view, and I conclude lateral based on this view. Here's our butterfly fragment. And the adjacent soft tissues are thick, although in this case, I don't see gas. Regarding comminuted fractures, this is a term that we use when there are multiple fracture fragments. The number of fragments can vary. Some fractures will have literally dozens of fragments. In this case, I add the term butterfly fragment some people also use the term segmental fracture, and there can be some overlap between those two things. I like to use the term butterfly fragment when there's a large fracture, or a large fragment associated with the comminuted fracture that's roughly triangular. Whereas I tend to use the term segmental when the large fragment is more tubular and the two um, fracture points above and below it don't necessarily coincide or interact. So. This is a butterfly fragment. It's important to notice that because it does affect often how surgeons will approach the fracture. This patient luckily was able to have internal fixation. So let me show you how this one came together. Make it a little bit smaller so we can see everything. So you can see there were quite a lot of implants required here, including an intermedullary pin, laterally applied plate, multiple screws, and surclage wires. When we look at this fracture healing, and the radiograph that I'm showing here was obtained at four weeks postoperatively. What I'm looking for when I'm assessing a postoperative fracture is changes at the fracture site that show me that fracture stages of fracture healing are progressing. The first stage of fracture healing will result in radiolucent callus. So this is non-mineralized callus, which starts as a hematoma, then a cartilage model is built. Both of these things are radiolucent or of soft tissue opacity on radiographs. So here you can see that at this fracture margin in particular, even though there is some new bone formation bridging, there's still a radiolucent fracture gap. The hope would be that at the four week mark with this nice healthy um, new bone formation on the surface, that this radiolucent zone is actually a very solid cartilage callus. And what I'd wanna see the next time I look at this fracture is that it continues to fill in over time. So here I'm gonna show you the fracture at four months. Hopefully you can appreciate that that area that we were just looking at, which was radiolucent, has now filled in. Additionally, you can see a lot of that periosteal reaction, which is nice and smooth, is starting to kind of take on a more normal bone shape. There are some slightly um, differently shaped periosteal reactions here, which are often associated with soft tissue trauma, especially when we're dealing with the femur. Once a fracture is healed, implants are not always removed, but in this case, I like it as an example because once we remove the implants, we have a great opportunity to really see how the fracture looks without all those devices in the way. So you can see that there's multiple tracks where the implants used to be, including even you can see the channel where the intermedullary pin was just removed. But look at this beautiful callus, and it's at multiple sites because of course we had a comminuted fracture, and that large butterfly fragment has been successfully reincorporated. Here I'm gonna show you the orthogonal view. So my assessment would be that this is a nicely healed fracture. It's much easier to tell this um, and be confident about the healing now than it was with the implants on there. Depending on the patient, how they're using the limb and the clinician managing the case, exercise restriction might be recommended once implants are removed because this still has to continue to remodel. You can see that the cortex of the bone does remain fairly thin and isn't entirely smooth just yet. Be sure to review the full report associated with this case. Thanks for listening, and remember, it's your case, so please post your questions on social media.